In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do a ballerina bun with a donut. If you don't know what a donut is, it is basically a piece of mesh that is rolled into a cute little donut shape. And depending on what size you may need, you can use that to pin your hair into or put a ponytail wrap around. Uh, so for using this donut, I do recommend pulling all your hair up to the central location where you want all that bun to sit on your head. I don't recommend this for my curlies with shorter layers, just because it is kind of difficult to get textured hair through the circle of the bun. I have a rather large bun that's about palm size in this video, but I also have a smaller ones. It really just depends on the style and look you're looking for, but I just recommend a little bit longer layer and longer hair for this technique. And then once you get the bun onto your hair as if it's the ponytail holder, you wanna make sure you lay your hair evenly across the donut so you are unable to see the donut. Then you wanna use your hair tie and wrap it a couple times around the donut so your hair can sit perfectly in like a cute little circle. Your hair is gonna look like the cutest little bun cake ever and that's what we're wanting. And then don't get too concerned about the flyaways that might pop up from your hair bun. You can literally use a little bit of hairspray or a gel and a comb to comb those down. I usually tend to use hairspray and then I bobby pin the kind of flyaway hairs in place. I also do this for the hairs that get tucked underneath the hair tie right around the base of the bun closest to your scalp. Reason why I do this is just to kind of clean it up. If you're not going to put an accessory over the bun um, to kind of hide up those hairs, then you just kind of want to clean that up and make sure that you can just bobby pin them in place. And then what I do for the sides of my hair, I usually use my Mr. Bottle to spray down the any flyaways at the scalp. And I use a little bit of gel, emulsify it, and kind of run it all over the hair so I can then go in with a brush and just kind of slick it back. This kind of smooths everything down without me having to work so hard. This is much easier to do on hair that has already been stretched out at the root. So if you are like me and you're guilty of doing like a pineapple to go to bed or put your hair up in a pretty high bun for showering and things like that, then you most likely have stretched roots. And this look is absolutely perfect for that. And then you can go ahead and just kind of play with the bun. Uh, there might be a couple of sizes where you realize it's either too small or too big. So just kind of finagle your hair and stretch it out where you need to so it fits how you need it to. And I love to just use my brush, comb down those flyaways, and kind of get rid of them to clean up the overall look. You can you. You can use this style or you can do the ballerina bun without the donut. It really just depends on what you have at home, what your preference is, like what the look you want to be is as well. I do prefer this ballerina bun with a donut if you're gonna do some really cute like rhinestones or additional accessories, just cause you have something else for the hair to kind of go into. I hope you try this look of the ballerina bun with a donut.